2.5b, add and subtract fractions with different denominators. If the denominators in your fractions don't match, we will need to be finding the least common multiple of those two, or what we will now call the least common denominator. These two things are found in the exact same way. Least common multiple is the same number as would be a least common denominator. We will multiply the denominators by the missing factors. Then multiply the numerators by the same factors. If you do not know the LCD or you're having difficulty finding it, you can always just multiply the two denominators together. Sometimes this will then result in a number that is a common multiple, but not necessarily the least common, which may cause you to have to reduce your answer in the end. Let's look at example one. In example one, we have five-thirds plus four-ninths. As you can see, the denominators do not match. This means we have five pieces of a pie and a pie that's only cut into three pieces, and four pieces of a pie that are cut into nine, and we cannot combine these together if they do not have the same denominator. Therefore, we must find the least common denominator. If we look, we have three and nine. Our least common denominator, remember, can be found in two different ways, using mental math or using factoring. Let's use mental math as these are small numbers. Remember, with mental math, you take the larger of the two numbers and start dividing its multiples by the other denominator until you have found one that works. The first multiple of nine is nine. It divides by three evenly. Therefore, our least common denominator is nine. This means we only are going to need to change the first fraction. To do so, Remember in the directions, it had said we needed to multiply the denominators by the missing factor and the numerator by the same factor. The missing factor here would be times three, because three times three would give us nine. We must also multiply the numerator times three. This will now give us the new fraction of fifteen ninths instead of five-thirds. We can now add the two fractions together. Fifteen plus four is nineteen ninths. Remember, when adding fractions, you add the numerators and keep the denominators the same. This gives us our answer, which is nineteen ninths. Let's look at example two. In example two, we once again have denominators that do not match. So we must find the least common denominator between the two numbers four and six. Remember, we take the larger of the two numbers to do this using mental math. We start with the multiples of six. The first multiple is six, and six divided by four does not work. So we go to the second multiple of six. Twelve divided by four does work, which gives us three. So this tells us our least common denominator is twelve. Now, we must multiply each of these by their missing factors. Let's rewrite this so we have a little space to do so. The missing factor on four would be three, 
Remember, we're trying to get it to multiply to the least common denominator of 12. Also remember, we must use the same number for the numerator and the denominator. In the second fraction, the denominator is six, so its missing factor is a two. And once again, we multiply it by the numerator and the denominator. We now write our new fractions, which are nine twelfths and ten twelfths. Now our denominators match and we can therefore do the problem. We subtract the numerators and nine minus ten is negative one. Remember, you always keep the denominators the same, which would make it twelve. When finding the answer to a problem in which the denominators do not match, remember you must first find the least common denominator, which is the same as the least common multiple, then change each of the fractions by multiplying them by their missing factors to give you new fractions that have common denominators.